So I have here a glue, paper strips, colored papers, and the used papers, of course, which is cut into strips, an eye stopper as a balloon, substitute for the balloon, a pin to pop it, and a scissor to use to cut it. So to start with, I will get the glue and paper strips and I will dip it onto the glue and paste it on the ice wrapper as a substitute for the balloon. I will do it continuously and after, when it is done, I can already wait for it to dry to until uh, I can cut it already. So I will do it continuously first. Next, I will uh, pop the balloon or the ice wrapper to separate it from the paper mache. I already separated it from the paper mache. I can already discard it. And after that, I will cut the upper part of it so that it will be uh, equal in length. So after cutting the upper part of the pencil holder, I will uh, push the bottom of it uh, towards the inside so that it will not be uh, pointed at the bottom and for it to stand on its own when I put it on the table. So I just pushed and pushed it until it is not pointed already. Next, you can already uh, create your own design depending on your wants like using uh, paint, watercolor, or anything that you wanted to put in your uh, paper mache or pencil holder. So for me, because I don't have an available paint or watercolor, so I just use the colored papers to... Um, have some colors in it and to have a bit of uh, design so I will paste it uh, like the first step that I have done and I will do it continuously until it is um, done So I just uh, pasted the colored papers on my pencil holder uh, randomly so this is the outcome of that. So now this is the pencil holder that I have created through using the paper mache technique or the modeling technique. So I don't have enough uh, material so this is what the outcome of my um, pencil holder so it doesn't have that uh, design because I just use a uh, colored paper so when you dis want to design it you can create something more uh, more design of it as creative as you can mm -hmm.